Those are incredible wins to have under his belt. Everybody, it's time. The other side of winning semis. We're going to be seeing the Zariel in the form of Devil Jin. We're going to be seeing Hughes, of course, lock it on the Jayun. I am Dara. This is PJ, and we're so excited to bring to you this match. Absolutely. And now we're seeing Hughes not picking up the great sword first, but actually getting the regular sword. Balloon Boy starting with the bow. The bow, a very constant neutral threat. Whether it's horizontally with the side light, whether it's aerially with the end light, Hughes will definitely struggle. And we're getting Western Air Temple in top. Eight. It's such an interesting stage, so dynamic. It's like Miami Dome, but crazy. And Yu's already taking advantage of the crazy platform layout with so much jungles on the sword. Just nice with punish on the D-Light. Anytime that you with D-Light and there's somebody up, up above you, that is going to be a free punish every single day of the week. Use offstage. Good catch on the high recovery using uh, Balloon Boys recovery. Okay, Sword recovery going to be coming on out. GC D-Light not going to connect quite yet. Landing with the downer. No new trailer follow-up. Use establishing that he's going to dodge in. No new trailer follow-up, but that could have been it on Balloon Boy stock. I mean, Use is absolutely taking over gotcha. the neutral game right now. Balloon Boy now with an opportunity on the gauntlet. Sends Use offstage with that cider that hits the ground, goes for the big signature, signature. no punish on Yuuzh though. Cider disarms Yuuzh now, Balloon Boy with an opportunity to take advantage, no. Great sword now online for Yuuzh, the great finishing weapon it is, looking for the down air, looking for the nair, the nair not enough to KO on Western Air Temple, but still okay, holding Balloon on. Balloon Boy waiting, oh. waiting, able to get the Cider. I think Yuuzh wanted to go for the dodge and he landed onto the platform. Anyways, Yuuzh able to make it back onto the stage. All right, waiting for just a second, though D-Light ends up with him, but no punish with the side light. Cider not gonna come oh. out, side light, D-Light, Neutralite, oh my gosh, did you have a dodge? What happened to it? I'm not sure, but he did what everyone talks about versus Greatsword, punished the connecting hitbox and it worked out there. Yu's able to get the end light, even is it, evens it up. Very, very dead even here. And I mean, Yu's will have a weapon advantage now. And I'm interested to see how Balloon Boy is able to deal with this Greatsword. We haven't seen it at the low damage yet. Doesn't look like we'll see there though as Yu's picks up a sword. That's right, Balloon Boy able to get a good recovery, just waiting for this next oh. weapon. The pocket sand comes on out, and guess what? It actually gave Balloon Boy the opening to pick up the bow at the moment. Okay, dash jumping up and over use. That is the movement that Balloon Boy is so well known for. He can move so fast, he can move in your face, he can cross you up. Recovery, not gonna be able to connect the side light with him, giving you a bit of a punish, finding a side light of his own. I mean, the neutral is so intense right now. Oh. Balloon Boy letting the signature fly, though. Use getting forced off stage versus the bow. Has to recover very patiently here. Doesn't want to get hit by any crazy down airs or ground pounds. Use to get a juggle started with that nair. Finds it there. Balloon Boy able to land back down. Look at the movement from both players. Both of them don't want to sing swing. I mean, it's looking crazy right now. Down like Cider sends off stage. Okay, Balloon Boy. Making it back onto the stage, still gonna be eating a good cover. Use not able to oh. find the neutral leg juggle. Sword on hand, great sword on hand. Oh. oh my gosh, but no finisher. The recovery still not enough to KO off the top. Balloon Boy looking for any way to be able to make it back onto the stage. Side light punishing that GCD light. Okay, gauntlets on hand. So what do you want? You want side light? You want oh. sider? You want recovery? You want to get use off the stage now. You need to break that mold. Use playing so defensively right now, knowing that you could let this lead slip away so easily, but won't there? Balloon Boy overshooting into the corner, trying to find a way to catch Use, who's been so comfortable underneath that soft platform. Use with a very appropriate response. Downlight into recovery to close out that stock. Now the great sword versus the bow. Again. Balloon Boy finding a sider to send low. Use struggling off stage, tries to reversal with a downer. No downer connection there. The side light. Sider sends off stage again. Balloon Boy now the one on the wall. Use opting just to play it safe. Made it back onto the stage. Balloon Boy with the reversal, able to get a sider and putting Yuuzh off stage. Now, as Great Sword up against Bo, you know what you don't want to get hit by? D-Light, because D-Light <laughs> into Sider, my friends. You don't want to go up over the lip of the stage, and sometimes Bo's going to jump out there and threaten you with down air too. Balloon Boy evening up the stock count, but now he has a lot of damage to make up. Use with an amazing juggle. Balloon Boy fighting there as Yuuzh tries to use a soft platform in order to continue that juggle. Balloon Boy, I mean, utilizing very vertical movement here because Yuuzh is just playing so patiently underneath that top platform, able to fight back as Balloon Boy tries to take center stage, gets the recovery there, down like misses. The side light does connect yeah. for Balloon Boy, though, and the juggle continues. D-Light recovery, not able to get the final neutral. Use sweating, but there is no way that Balloon Boy was able to get to him in time. The side, I don't know if Balloon Boy can make it back onto the stage, but use, you know what? Letting him get to the side. Whoa! Holding onto the corner, sliding off with that D-Light. It didn't connect, waiting so patiently, but use delayed his dodge. I mean, if, if Balloon Boy waited a little bit more on that dodge and play three, it could have been it, but use punishing the Balloon Boy signature. Can you tap in this edge or can you find it? World Champion, the recovery doesn't find it though. In fact, to put Balloon Boy back onto the stage, that is a good position to be in at the moment. Aside from the damage, being so patient in this neutral right now. Use dashing in, dashing oh. out, eating a D-Light, say true combo. 
Very different burst option approaches on the bow. It's a lot safer versus use, but it's not safe. Right. Right. Two. Yeah, exactly. And, and I'm interested to continue to see how you deal with the defensive game that Yuzu is able to present. A player that has the ability to turn on the burners and go really aggressive, but also play very patiently. Balloon Boy struggling to find ways to punish Yuzu for sitting underneath that soft platform on the corners. And we go back to the Sage and Yuzu finding an opening on the Greatsword and Balloon oh. Boy getting sent far off. Sage Yuzu going for the unarmed downer to close out that stock. Didn't find it though. Balloon Boy with a chance to weapon starve. Didn't go for it there though. Okay, oh, the side of it does not connect. Yuzu was just oh. behind him. Ugh, a little Tricky bit. scramble. Tricky scramble indeed. Yuzu finding that end light though, putting Balloon Boy off stage for just a second. He needs to get this opening. He needs a falling neutrally. These side are not working out nearly as well, but Yuzu, again, his advantage is so good. Absolutely, we see the nair there from Balloon Boy getting punished by Yuzu. Yuzu looking for the edge guard, gets the recovery, sends Balloon Boy back, but saying, I'm not done with you quite yet. I'm not gonna go for the edge guard. Play it safe, get the damage. Downlight will KO, recovery will start to KO as well. Nair almost able to do it there, but switches back over to a sword and more Nairs, more juggling for Yuzu. Oh, Balloon Boy being so bold, just getting in there and picking up the gauntlets. What's he gonna be able to make happen? Oh, the answer is nothing at all as used. What a call out, because Balloon Boy consistently dashed up and dash landing, dashed up and dash landing up and over Yuzu's head. And what he is doing is he is just catching him on the ground with D-Lights behind his back. Absolutely, and for all the drama that stock was, Yuzu, I mean, barely 100 damage, maybe if that Balloon Boy struggling to really find any sort of damage on Yuzu right now. Yuzu ca catching the dodge there, sending back off stage, going for the downer, didn't find it. That's the Nair to continue the juggle. Balloon Boy struggling versus not only the sword, but the great sword as well. The Yuzu combo with the downer into the Nair, and Yuzu continues to dominate this match. Balloon Boy cannot find a way in, can't even find safety in a dodge, as Yuzu will eat that, take that two, and take that stock, three stocks to one for the former world champion. He's just so ready to call out the timing after Balloon Boy just dodges after the second, after the bridge. So three stocks to one at the moment. Balloon Boy, oh. he is struggling to make it back onto the stage. Yuzu is denying him the two-piece, not able to finish it into the recovery. Balloon Boy needs to get the stock now to have a chance. I mean, completely faltering off stage versus Yuzu's great sword. The down air connects there, waits for the dodge. Balloon Boy doesn't give it. Yuzu's a jump is in, but Yuzu waits for the dodge. Going for the side air, didn't find it. Balloon Boy gets back to center stage. Yuzu with the signature to try to find a way back, but Balloon Boy strikes back with a signature of his own to get the whip punish, confirm the stock, and potentially make the, I mean, one of the biggest upsets ever if he can find it. And light, but no neutral as well. Balloon Boy stuck at the edge of the stage and Yuzu is continuing to pressure him again and again. And light dashing back. Oh my gosh, tries to go for the finisher wasn't able to find it, but it does not matter. This lead might be indomitable. Gotta find something here. Gets the big connection, gets the string, and Yuzu was so, I mean, he's so dominant in that. Before you damage, and you're going blow for blow, you will be behind against a weapon like Greatsword. So this might be another SA 3 0 Yuzu is playing out of his mind at the moment. He is keeping Balloon Boy out. And so the question is, does he have that fight in him? And you're gonna do a lot of fighting, and you're gonna need to do it fast, Yuzu in the corner, Balloon Boy for the first time really addressing Yuz, leaning into the corner as a way to find some safety. You won't find it here. The crowd coming alive for that nice little string on the gauntlets. Yuz flips the situation immediately, gets the side air there, but we go back to center. A lot of respect from both players. They realize it's all about that movement. Amazing, Balloon Boy jumped in there, jumped out, waited for Yuz to dash in, and then he was able to go ahead and get that punish. And like, side light bridge, okay. Oh, tries to dash in there with the end light, not gonna be able to find the Balloon Boy with the whip punish. Tries to go for the end sig, it was unsuccessful though. Side light there from Yuzu, not fighting the connection, the opening that he wants. Balloon Boy getting caught out there, and the dodge as well. Yuzu takes the first stop a lot better than the last game in terms of damage here, but Yuzu is able to snowball these leads so effectively. Balloon Boy, once again, I mean, finding more openings, but struggling to deal with the output of damage that Yuzu is putting out with the great sword. You got bow on hand, you oh, that man. but it does not matter. Yuzu controlling the stage. Balloon Boy running out of options. He uses up so many of his jumps when it comes to landing, and Yuzu has no problem with that whatsoever. The weapon toss trying to keep himself safe, spacing out the side light, whips that side sig and look at the punish. Look at the punish. It does not stop. He's continuing with the great sword there, gets the poke with the side light, gets the dodge burned as well, going for the offstage nair. Balloon Boy flips the situation and now has the wall to use, but hasn't been able to find any sort of pressure when uses in the corner, getting out of it. Taking a nair though, not enough to kill. Looking for that recovery, looking for a way to confirm this stock and still fight for your chance to make this comeback happen, but use won't give it easily. 
Balloon Boy, you need that D-Light. You need that side light. You need that recovery using the weapon toss as a way to be able to get in. The D-Light connects, but Balloon Boy, I think a little bit too far away to confirm that into a side out. Okay, recovery, nice. call out. That's it, two stocks each, but you have so much damage to make up here. If I'm used, I'm picking up that sword and I'm looking for the D-Light and I'm looking for the recovery. I mean, use even there, you know, realizing you're on the sunset of your stock, still holding on, forcing Balloon Boy and testing his patience. Big open up there, though, gets the side light. No extension on the Dodger. Use getting the recovery, doesn't KO, though. Balloon Boy with the gauntlets in hand. We've seen what the edge arts can be, but it won't find it in this stock. The recovery comes in from Use, and he is one stock away from an all South American winner's final. He is calling out that movement. Every single jump is going punished. Balloon Boy back onto the gauntlets. Oh, oh what a leap. GC there, so he didn't have a dodge. Use giving the best combo there, doing so much damage. Balloon Boy getting something started on the gauntlets, though. It doesn't last long. Recovery whiffs. Use forces Balloon Boy into the corner, a familiar place for Balloon Boy to be versus this great sword. Not able to get the neutral oh, once man. again. Use just dodging out of everything. Uh -huh. Sidelight, call out with the neutral as well. Use whiffing a sidelight, but there is no follow ups after gauntlet sidelight. Balloon Boy a little bit behind in the damage, behind in an entire stock, and Use looking so consistent. Trying to read the dodge down there. Very aggressive. Use reversals at the side air comes in. GC breakdance doesn't connect. A breakdance from Balloon Boy and n -Sick from Use. We're whiffing signature kits right now, but Balloon Boy picking up a bow. We haven't seen much bow in this game. Potentially a way to close out this stock. Okay. Yes, it Eli will be. That's it. Beautiful spacing, too. I cannot believe I was able to connect that close to the bow, but it does not matter. Balloon Boy, you have a chance. You need to be able to make up all this damage against Soil. What does Use want? He wants D-Light recovery. He catches the dash jumping in, and then he wants to catch you jump after with another recovery. He's going to go for it. GC D-Light. It ends up whiffing. He's at the corner. In <gasps> he almost had the catch. He was in position, but Balloon Boy didn't follow up with a sidelight. He just doesn't believe in it. Doesn't want to get reversal, realizing he's one hit away from getting sent to elimination side. Big side light there, another dodge in place from Yuz getting the recovery there, but no follow-up after the Nair hitbox. Yuz fighting back, forcing Balloon Boy in the corner once again. Being so patient. Man. What a weapon toss from Yuz to be able to get nice and close. That's the call out. That's how he does it. Yuz with a 3-0 taking down Balloon Boy.